my goodness, we are so celebrating here. I, 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 we are you, I, I haven't felt so excited <laughs> in the studio in a, in a while, Rockers. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I really wouldn't like to tell you. Well, I'm glad I can, I can help you enjoy your morning. And I hope that I'm doing the same for you guys. This is your cup of coffee in the morning, basically. <laughs> in our morning show. And as we continue to celebrate Calypso History Month, uh, all month long, we're going to get to know some of the Calypsonians. You know, the people that are behind the music. The people that are responsible for the music. And this morning, we are joined by one of the people who have contributed their voices and talent to the music art form for a long time. I'm talking about Mr. Johnny King. That's what I'm playing in the background right now. Good morning, Johnny King. Good morning to you and good morning to your co-hosts. How are you good doing morning. this morning? <laughs> and good morning to Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> nice yeah, to have I'm you all... here with us, man. <clears throat> I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm still alive. Nice. Yeah. I, I want to, first of all, say thank you. Thank you for all the music that you've given us over the years. I, I personally appreciate it. And I know that Trinidad and Tobago, we appreciate all the music that you've been giving to us and continue to give Very us. True. So thank you, first of all. Second of all, tell me how did your passion for this art form develop? If you could remember back in the day when it was now starting in the industry, how did your passion well, for, for Calypso start? Well, to be honest with you, um, I love Calypso, but I love Pan more. So, <laughs> and you know, and as I'm a back, I never... Um, aspire to become a Calypsonian at all. Really? Because uh, I didn't think I could sing. <laughs> you understand? But Pan was the first love. But somewhere along the line, <clears throat> sorry, in um, 1979, I wrote a Calypso called um, Modern Slavery. Mm -hmm. I still didn't think about singing it because, as I tell you, I didn't think I could sing. Right. But the next year, the next year uh, in 1980, I did two songs. And one of the songs in particular, made me feel I should try and record it. I went ahead and record it. It was very difficult, but you know, we don't have time to go through that journey. So to um, produce it, you had to go to Barbados to finish it and all that. The two songs would have cost about anything like 20,000. And my auntie gave me, lend me some money, my brother lend me some money, everybody lend me some money. You know, I really see music and it was an instant, um, I wouldn't call it a hit, but you know, I got acceptance immediately. And okay. by Carnival, I made, most of the money is back. Nice. About nice. What, what what motivated me or or, or um, helped me to continue. Sometimes during the year after the carnival, because I only perform like in the square with police band, with the police band, a couple of times, you know, in the square. And I was the I was the most promising Calypsonian. <laughs> and you know, he had something attached to that, a nice little trophy and a 500. Yeah. And that, that gave me the incentive to really carry on, and. In three short years, I went to the Kaiso Monarch final with Nature's Land. Mm -hmm. And then I went to, in, in, in 984, sorry, 984, 985, 986 consecutively at, in the Savannah. Then I had a, a dull year. Then the next year, 988, I had this thing called Wet Me Down. And he, uh, nah, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's my biggest hit. Well, of course, I was not going to say that song <laughs> still plays very much in parties today. Even when people lime in, they want to hear that song. Every time the rain falls, people want to hear that song in particular. Tell me about, about the process for your, your writing and, and that, that journey. How do you, where do you get that, this, this inspiration from? Because you have a, such a wide variety of music as well. All right. If you, if you listen to Nature's Plan and Appreciation, and I have other things like um, You Are the Greatest. Yeah. Perseverance makes it right. I like to write motivational songs. I like to write songs that you know, I love people, right? Mm -hmm. I like to write songs to help people who want to live, you know. So I have um, You Are the Greatest. I have um, lots of songs to, to, to encourage people to be strong. Yeah. We'll try. Stand up even though you're falling. That was one of the early ones. Yeah. You know, and, and so there's where those songs came from, like Nature's Plan. Well, you know, Nature's Plan is a kind of struggle song. Right. And it's something something that I live. Most of the things I sing is something is um, my line I thought, you know, something that lived, that something I see around me, you know. So the serious ones, the, the, I call them the sad songs. Yeah. But the party, the party songs now, I always do a party song. In those days, it to be in the case of Monaco. Or you needed to have the two. You sing, you sing a serious song, yeah. and and um, a party song. Right. You know, so every year I did like. A serious song and a party song. I never delved into into politics, you know, but because one thing that's interesting for me is that all the, your party songs tend to revolve around women. 
Well, you know, about, I only do it in a more decent way than them young fellas these days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, let me and your miss, I want to tell you something, let me, I think, I think, wet me down, honey, and you know, she, you know, and, and I, I do it a little more decent than, than, than my birds and them today, you know, <laughs> because, you know, me want to, to go down too low and bend over and, and things, but, you know, <laughs> women, women, women is carnival, women is the, is the thing, so, you know, okay. I like, you look um, um Darling, party, boy, I've been up to you one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. 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 I you know, they could just strengthen the lyrics a little bit. Mm. But who need to say that? Because it's happening for them. You know, they, 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 you know the thing evolving. So right. I can't criticize them. I just, they, you know, as they go on, they will do different different things. You know? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much for joining us this morning, Johnny King. Kaiso Icon, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, thank you for all the music. Thank you for your time this morning. And we really, really appreciate you and all that you've contributed to the art form. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for... for, for Having me on. Not a problem. And appreciation. Plays on the human. human. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Johnny King, Thank take you. care. Enjoy the rest of your love, day. Love you, love you all. Love, 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 love and take man. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right, and that.